Hello guys, in this video, let's create a spline effect in Niagara and Material. We can see the effect in the level. It looks like a spline that spreads outward. Okay, first we need a static mesh. Yeah, it looks like a spline. And UV, we just out UV. Okay, now let's create the material. Because we have made many similar materials, repeating these steps is very boring. So in the following videos, we will directly show the nodes of these materials. Of course, we can use add named reroute decoration node. Through this node, we can make the material look more concise. In this material, the color 1, color 2, fill and shape mask we call are all named reroute. We just double click. Yeah, we can see the node about named reroute. Okay, first is noise desert. Yes, we made many times. And this function is provided by the engine. It's very convenient for us to make the noise motion. And time is just a random time by dynamic parameter. Okay, use this named reroute we can make the texture effect is trail 1 and trail 2. The only difference between them is the intensity of the noise and the speed of the panel. Okay, let's go back to main material. We can see trail 1 at trail 2 and multiply by the ship mask. Let's double click ship mask. Here are the nodes of ship mask. Text card and mathematic. And then multiply by the file and the particles alpha. In the end, add a depth speed so we get our opacity. Now let's click color 1. Here is our emissive color. We can hide unrelated nodes. This part is color 1. Use text code, make a gradient, and multiply by the trail 1 at trail 2. And this part is color 2. It almost the same, but this time we use hue shift to create another color. Okay, click color and we can go back main material. So color 1 at color 2 is emissive color. As for word position of sight, we can use material function, line taken to increase the width of the static mesh. We can use dynamic parameter and mathematic to control the width and tip so that we can get a better effect. If we connect them directly, we would get a reserve spline. That means is tape at our center. Yeah, like this. It looks strange. So we can do the mice by this nodes, increase the width tape while decreasing the width base so it looks like we want. Yeah, like this. Okay, this is our material. Now let's create the Niagara system. Okay, first in the render, let's delete the split rendered, add a mesh rendered. 
and static mesh we use the SM spline okay yeah it's here and the material we can use override material we just created okay emitter update life cycle mode is system yeah but loop duration we can change it to one this makes it easier for us to preview and then at the spawn burst spawn count we can set it to five okay we can see the spline in the preview and then initial particle lifetime mode is random mean is 0.3 to 0.5 color mode we can use a user parameter it's very convenient for us to change color in the level default color is purple next is mesh scale mode we can select random line uniform 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and max is 0 0.2, 2, and 1. And then let's add a ship location. Ship primitive is sphere, and the sphere radius we can set to 1. Also, we need add velocity from point by default, it's okay. Finally, let's add an initial mesh orientation. In particle update, we can set scale mesh size and scale color. First, let's change the scale mesh size. Here, we can set the values of these three channels separately. We can use a vector from curve and this three curve is all zero to one. In the scale curve, the X is five and Y is one, Z is one. Okay, now let's update mesh orientation. The rotation vector we can use a random range negative one to one y and c is zero rotation rate we can set it to 0 0.3 and then let's add scale color this time we can use a float to control the vector and use curl to control the float 0 to 1 to 0 and scale alpha is also use the curl 1 to 0 by default oh yes we also need scale curl in scale RGB maybe 20 Okay, finally, we can add uh, dynamic material parameters to control the material. Time speed, we can use a random range float 1 to 3, and random is also random range 0 to 1. It's okay. Width and tape, we can use a curve to control it. First is width. It looks like a scale color, 0 to 1 to 0. Okay, like this. And tip it just 0 to 1 by default. Oh yes, we also need scale curve. Weight may be 35. Okay, now we can see the spline in the preview. 
and in the level it looks good too we can also add spawn count to 20 yeah it looks better Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.